people don't realize how valuable and important this land is to not only the estuarians, but the entire country. In fact, the whole wide world. But things are changing and fast. Uh, and if something isn't done really quick, uh, we may lose it all uh, quicker than I thought. No, oh, 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 no, quick, no, wait, oh, oh, no. Let's act now before it's too late. Bill, Captain Eddie's a little protective of his future family. Oh, don't worry, Eddie. I mean no harm. I just wanted to show the kids where you live. Ah, gee, but why so high up here? Well, Mr. Bill, eagles need these forests in order to successfully nest. And America's wetland provides nesting habitat for a large number of birds in North America. Oh, that's great, but this forest looks like it's all dying and everything. That's right, Mr. Bill, because of the saltwater intrusion. Saltwater? Fusion? <laughs> no, that's intrusion. You see, as more salt water from the Gulf comes further inland, some plants can't survive, including these trees. Oh, that's too bad. Sluggo, he's gonna be mean to me. Nah, it's Lumberjack Sluggo. And he says this dead tree needs to be cut down before it falls and hurts somebody. No, 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 Let's do something before it's too late. Oh, hey everybody, and welcome to my cozy Cajun cabin here on the Bayou in America's wetland. Yay! What's that? Oh, say, Mr. Bill, it's your friend Rocky the Raccoon. Oh, hey there, Rocky, but uh, hey, what are you doing digging in the garbage? Well, Mr. Bill, he used to have lots to eat, but with all the land loss here in America's wetland, all his favorite foods like plants and mice and bugs... Mice and bugs? Gee, I'd rather eat garbage. Uh, hey, can't he grab some fast food? No, this is all he has left to eat. Well, what happened to all the land? Well, there are lots of reasons, Mr. Bill, but one of the biggest in this area is the tidal surge from big storms. Tidal surge? But what's that? Oh, I think here comes some now. Okay. Act now before it's too late. Oh, uh, hey everybody! We're sure gonna have fun today, cause we're looking for my good friend, Murky the Mudcat, here in America's wetland. Yay! Oh, say Mr. Bill, you've got a bite. I'll reel him in. Oh, hey Murky, how you doing there? Hey! Oh, Murky's doing great, because he's got lots and lots of mud to play in. A lot more than the old days. Mud? <laughs> well, to each his own, but, uh, hey, why is there so much more mud than usual? Well, you see, Mr. Bill, America's wetland was built by the Mississippi River just a few thousand years ago by dragging mud from up north and depositing it here to create this land. Oh, so then there's more land now than there used to be? No, it's just that these levees that were built to prevent flooding have prevented the mud from naturally rebuilding the land. Now the muddy Mississippi just keeps flowing and dumps the mud into the deep water of the Gulf. Gee, I guess that's one of the reasons America's wetland is losing so much land, huh? That's right, Mr. Bill. Well, Murky can't hold his breath any longer and has to go. Oh, see you later, Murky! Hey! Okay, now I'll cast off and maybe we'll get a big catch. Okay, Mr. Ian, oh! See you later. Maybe she's hiding down here somewhere. Oh, hey there, Shelly. Hey, what are you doing hiding out on us? Well, Mr. Bill, Shelly's afraid because of the way the coast is disappearing that she'll get washed out to sea. Well, what can we do to stop it from washing away? 
Well, one thing we're doing is planting special marsh grass that helps hold the land together. Also, when the sediment in the water hits the plants, it drops to the bottom and helps build more land. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Maybe we can help plant some, huh? Okay. No, wait, no, no. Oh, oh, wow. Let's do something before it's too late. Yeah, Mr. Bill. And did you know that America's wetlands supplies 30% of the seafood America eats? Wow, that's a lot of crawfish. And lots of other seafood, such as shrimp, like Salty here. Oh, hey, Salty. So how come all you guys like to hang around here? Well, you see, Mr. Bill, the wetlands and marshes are the nursery for Salty and his friends. In fact, almost all the critters in the Gulf spend part of their time in America's wetland. Oh, that's great. So we should all eat up, huh? Hey. Not so fast, Mr. Bill, because with the loss of all of our land, we'll soon have to rely more on foreign countries for our seafood. Gee, we need to do something to help Salty and his friends out. Well, if the rest of the country realize how important it is, they may invest more in trying to protect it. So then we should tell our friends about the problem and learn more about what we can do to help, right? Hey. That's right, Mr. Bill. So let's go and... Oh, oh, no, wait, oh, wait, oh, oh. Let's do something before it's too late. Oh, well, welcome everybody to America's Wetland. And today, we're here in the swamp looking for my friend, Pierre the Belgian. Oh, there he is. Hey, Pierre, how you doing there? Hey. Oh, Pierre says things used to be better, Mr. Bill. He's finding less and less land to sit on or, you know, just to hang out with his friends. Well, why is that, Mr. Hand? Well, since the river was cut off from flowing back here, there's been no new deposits of mud to build up the land. Well, I'm not a really big fan of mud. <laughs> well, you see, Mr. Bill, because of gravity and other forces, you need more and more mud just to keep the land... Oh, speaking of gravity, it's pulling me down. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Pierre will call his older brother to help pull you out in a jiffy. Help me, come on, help, I'm sinking. Come on, help, 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 help. No! Oh, no! Don't worry, I've cut these bamboo reeds so you can breathe while I go get help. Let's do something before it's too late. Everybody, we're diving in the deep waters of the Gulf off of America's wetland to look for one of my best pals, Delta the Dolphin. Hey, uh, sure doesn't look like there's much living down here, though, except some goldfish. That's right, Mr. Bill. There used to be lots of life down here, but because of all the runoff and toxins coming down the river, it's created what they call the dead zone. The dead zone? Oh, no, get me out of here. Well, maybe Delta the Dolphin here can show us a nicer place. Oh, well, sure, Delta. Lead the way. Hey, she's pretty cute. Oh, for a dolphin, that is. Oh, hey, Mr. Bill. Look, a sunken ship. Oh, boy. Maybe we'll find Jean Lafitte's sunken treasure. Hey! Gee, I guess something else is alive down here. And he looks mighty hungry. Oh, no, hey, help, Delta. Save me. Sorry, Mr. Bill, but dolphins are very intelligent. She's not sticking around. Hey, no, wait, no, no, don't do that. Let's act now before it's too late. Oh, uh, hey everybody. Hey, we're sure gonna have fun today because we're gonna watch a whole movie of a tubing trip down a river in America's wetland. Yay! Hey, I'll start the projector. Yeah, thanks Mr. Hands. Hey, you know it's been so long, I can hardly remember that trip. Oh, I'm sure we'll all come back. This river sure has changed a lot since I was a kid. I'm not even sure where I am. Oh, hey, look, it's Mossy the Moccasin. Uh, Moccasin? Uh, hey, uh, are they poisonous? Extremely. Uh, hey, not so close there, Mossy. Oh, don't worry. So, you know, Mossy says the river has changed course lately. 
The riverbank is eroded, and many of the landmarks you remember are probably underwater. But she'll show you the way. Uh, hey, no offense, Mossy, but I think I'll find my own way, okay? Okay. Mossy was offended and left, but I'll bet her friend will help deliver you to safety. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Hey, what were you doing? I wanna. I wanna... Oh! 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 Let's do something before it's too late. Uh, gee, kids, I'm not sure we can do our show today, cause it looks like Hurricane Sluggo is headed right for us here in America's wetland. That's right, Mr. Bill. And since New Orleans is below sea level, if a hurricane hit us directly, it could push the water over the levees and fill it to the top. Oh well, no, then we'd better leave. Well, it's too late to evacuate since all the roads are jammed and underwater. Then where can we go that's safe? Here, this should work. Gee, I hope it doesn't get much higher. Well, Reed the alligator doesn't seem too worried. Yeah, yeah, that's because he can swim. You know, I don't do that too well. Well, in that case, Reed says he'll have one of his buddies come and give you a lift. That's okay. Uh, maybe you can find my water wings or something. Oh, wait, no, don't get me out of here. No, wait, no, no. Let's act now before it's too late.